Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about Lin-Manuel Miranda and his new movie In the Heights and all the backlash that it's been receiving lately. First off, let's have Lin-Manuel Miranda himself explain what In the Heights was supposed to be about. Uh, in the Heights is uh, basically three days in the life of this block uh, in Washington Heights, New York, on the brink of transition. Um, it's getting more expensive, uh, rents are going up everywhere, and we see these three businesses, uh, and, and we meet um, about 12 characters, uh, and, and how they, you know, experience this change. And uh, I play with Snobby, who's a bodega owner, so all the stories sort of pass through his store. Everyone gets their coffee, their newspaper, their donuts, their lotto ticket uh, from Snobby, and so uh, through him we get to meet the whole neighborhood. Washington Heights, which is where Lin-Manuel Miranda grew up, as well as where I personally also grew up, is a majority Dominican and Puerto Rican area in New York City. But here's the kicker. If we look at Dominicans and Puerto Ricans, a majority of them are actually mixed or of strong African descent. However, a lot of Afro-Latinos, especially those of us that actually live in New York City, don't feel that the movie truly represents us. Here's what Sonny Hostin, one of the hosts on The View, who is actually from New York and is Puerto Rican, had to say. But I am an Afro-Latina, someone who for 50, over 50 years has been told I am not Latina enough because I am Afro-Latina. Someone who has always been questioned by Latinos. Are you really Latina? Do you speak Spanish? How are you Latina? Is your mother Latina? Is your father Latino? And, and that is something that has broken my heart repeatedly, that Latinos typically do not embrace their African roots. And that is truth, that is facts. It's an ugly fact that Latinos do not want to talk about. And Lin-Manuel, I love him, I adore him, I know him personally. He himself admitted that he missed the mark here. However, another host from The View actually had a difference of opinion and decided to defend the colorism and lack of Afro-Latino representation in the movie In the Heights. But we shouldn't burden Lin-Manuel with the responsibility of representing every Latino, every shade and every ethnicity and every creed in a two-hour musical. This is a musical, a, 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 an attempt to show the fantasy and magic of In the Heights. It's not a documentary, it's not a Benetton ad. It is a musical, people, it is two hours. And I, I think we've come a long way. I remember when Madonna played Eva Peron. I remember when Marisa Tomei and Angelica Houston were playing Cubans in the Paris family. This is an all Latino cast. One of the leads is an Afro-Latina, a beautiful one who does a great job in the role. And few people have done as much as Lin-Manuel has Lin-Manuel Miranda has helped give directors, actors, producers feel more represented in the media. And so while he has helped people of color, specifically Latinos, get bigger and better roles, he has yet to acknowledge Afro-Latinidad. Like Sunny Hostin said, Ana Navarro instead decided to compare media from 2021 to media from the 1960s and say we've come a long way. Well, yeah, I would hope so. In 2016, I actually went and saw Hamilton in person with the original cast. Now looking back at it, it seems so strange that he was so adamant about having black representation and Asian representation in America's history. Yet when it comes to Latinidad and Afro-Latino representation, he missed the mark. Like I said, he grew up in Washington Heights, as did I. He even filmed in Washington Heights, and I personally know the three blocks where he filmed. That entire area is full of Afro-Latinos, but when asked why there wasn't enough Afro-Latino representation, here's what the director of In the Heights had to say. We tried to get the people who were best for those roles, and that specifically, and we saw a lot of people, people like Daphne or Dasha, but I hear you on, um, you know, trying to fill those cast members with darker skin. I think that's that's I think that's a a, a, a really good conversation to have. Something that we should be all be talking about. I didn't realize until making this movie that I I didn't really get to see myself or people that look like my siblings that are darker than me on screen. Rita Moreno, who you may know from West Side Story and is Puerto Rican herself had this to say about the criticism of lack of Afro-Latinos. We talk for a second about that criticism about Lin-Manuel, that really upsets me. That. You can never do right, it seems. This is the man who literally has brought Latino-ness 
and Puerto Ricanness to America. I couldn't do it. I mean, I, I, I would love to say I did, but I couldn't. <laughs> Lynn Manuel has done that really single handedly, and I'm thrilled to pieces, and I'm proud that he produced uh, my documentary. And so are you saying that while you may understand where people's uh, concerns come from, that perhaps it's misplaced in criticizing him in this? Well, I'm simply saying, can't you just wait a while and leave it alone? After receiving so much backlash on Twitter that she was trending, she decided to issue an apology. Rita Moreno tweeted, I'm incredibly disappointed with myself. While making a statement in defense of Lin Manuel Miranda, I was clearly dismissive of the black lives that matter in our Latin community. It is so easy to forget how celebration for some is lament for others. And then awkwardly saying, see, you can teach this old dog new tricks. However, instead of accepting her apology, people reminded her that she did brownface while she was in West Side Story. I'll get the Terry's apartment. 1961 New York City musical West Side Story. Oh, I'm many people are already praising the casting call due to the fact that the original film was criticized by many, including star Rita Moreno, mm -hmm. for casting white actors in Latin roles and for using brown face on actors. That's right. So this is awesome. The only oh, wait, time wait. they really cast real people is if it's a slave movie. And they just... Here's what the Dominican music artist Amara La Negra had to say. Yeah, this is not like a new thing. We're not like a new race or a new culture that just came about. We've always been here. We're in your face all the time, every time. It's just that no matter how much we continue to talk about it, nothing changes, you know? And they continue to look for the same prototype of what a Latino looks like. If you guys saw the movie In the Heights, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think that despite the fact that Lin-Manuel Miranda already apologized and admitted his wrongdoing, makes those defending the colorism and lack of Afro-Latino representation in his movie look worse. Once I saw the trailer and had an opportunity to see the film, we said, you know, where are the dark-skinned Afro-Latinx people? We needed to make audiences aware that this was not okay and that there should really be true representation. The controversy was a hot topic on The View today. You just walk through Washington Heights. It is filled with black Dominicans, black Puerto Ricans. The fact that there is a film about Washington Heights that doesn't show you that does miss the mark. But co-host Anna Navarro defended the movie's creator, Lin-Manuel Miranda, who first shot to global fame for his smash Broadway hit, Hamilton. Lin-Manuel is now apologizing and promising to do better. I can hear the hurt and frustration over colorism, he writes on social media. I'm truly sorry. I'm learning from the feedback. I thank you for raising it and I'm listening. 